give her a very shallow amount of groundwork to justify her existence. They veer away from they veer away from that in later games. They force one scene on you. Yeah, that's the only scene that does that. But the game the game does it. Like it's not to a bad extreme, but it's to a noticeable extreme. I noticed it. I am gonna say this: the scene where Elisa, the part where um, the, there was a Bond episode, there was a Bond episode where it was revealed that Reen and Elisa like knew each other. I was kind of like mad to that scene. I feel like that just broke all immersion. Like I really felt like that um, ruined it because um. I feel like the fact that they made it like, oh, Reen and Elisa actually met once, like, when they were children. Like, if you want to go that route, fine. But, like, I don't know. That kind of ruined Reen and Elisa for me. Like, as, like, just Elisa in general. Like, their dynamic there. I didn't really like that. Like, a, some that could be done really well sometimes. But, like, the way they did it in Cold Steel was lazy. I did not like that. Like, I, I found it much more compelling when Elisa and Reen just... If they didn't know each other and they met the first time at Thor's, that would be much more compelling. The only exception is, I don't like Scarlet Nexus very much, but I thought Yuito and Kasane was really well done how they intertwined those two characters together. Like, I don't really like the game very much, but they did really well with Bill. But Yuito and Kasane are really good characters, despite being in a pretty, like, average to mediocre game. Not even mediocre, I would say Scarlet Nexus is average. Mediocre is a bit harsh. Emma's scenes felt better. She was taking the initiative to give Reen's comfort where with Elisa. It was just her asking Reen for stuff. All she does is offer lip service but do nothing for Reen. I kind of disagree with that. And I don't really want to talk about Cold Steel any longer. But, you know. I'll, I'll respond to comments. But I'm not going to give. I'm not going to keep. I gave my piece on why I like Elisa. I don't think Elisa is the best, best character in the game. I don't think Elisa is the best character in the game. I'm not even saying she's one of my favorites. But I'm just saying I don't hate her. She's probably mid-tier for me. She, she's good. I did like some things with her, but she's very flawed. But, like, I don't dislike her. I, I, I like Elisa, but she's not one of my favorites. Alright, I'm going to read this last comment. Then we're going to move on to story. Because as great as these comments are, I am going to move on to story. Which means I'm going to lower my chance of answering questions. Why I hate her. Reen and Elisa are horrible for each other. Reen is a workaholic with no self-value. And Elisa is an emotionally unstable person with dependency issues. It would bring out the worst aspects for each other. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on there. I never said Rhi and Elisa were a great couple. N now, now we're shifting this. Now you're really shifting this conversation here. We're, we're talking about Elisa and Elisa and Rhi. It's two different things. There's Elisa as a character, and there's Elisa and Rhi together. I never once said that Elisa and Rhi were good together. Oh, I'm talking about Elisa. I've, I've been talking about Elisa independently. But yeah, that's my piece on that. Alright, after that long Cold Steel 2 discussion, which was kind of fun, let's move on this plot. Up there is where I'm supposed to go. I'll still respond to comments. If there's cutscenes, I'm obviously not going to respond this much, but uh, when I'm playing the game, I am all down to respond to comments. Where, where are you at? Oh, with this thing. Oh, we probably break this thing or something. This wall is a little suspect. I did not mean to go to auto. Whoops. Must have been repaired not too long ago. It did a pretty shoddy job from the looks of it. Oh, dog coming in clutch. It's most definitely hollow within. I could sense a room just beyond. The thing that made the roar might be in here then. It's just like Credo said. Hey, cowgirl. Why don't you whip out that gift of yours? What? You want me to knock it down? I mean, you got the Valkyrie Hammer. It seems like the perfect option for it. Not like the garrison or the knights are tripping over themselves to patrol here. No one's gonna come marching out over a little noise. Oh, sure, but this thing's so old, I'd probably just destroy the whole thing. And go easy on it. You got a lot of nerve telling me that, Credo. Alrighty, let's smash this thing. Stand clear of debris, everyone. Right, cool so this probably reveals like hidden caves and such wow damn it's like you were made for this 
You know it. We should be able to explore within these ramparts now. Shall we proceed? Well, I don't think we're going to be able to finish Chapter 5. We're going to be really close. Uh, assuming this is the final part of Chapter 5, who knows? Ooh, this track, Groaning Grotto. Rampart has been here since the Hundred Years' War, right? For a structure more than half a century in age, its interior is surprisingly clean. Last I heard, the Romans have been keeping the place tidy. My guess says they want it on hand as a stronghold in case of a revolt. So what kept us safe from the outside would be used to keep us in? I don't like that one bit. To the victors go to the spoils. That's just how it is, like it or not. Turning to the subject at hand, what manner of your roar was it you heard? I've been unable to detect it over the cheering of the crowd. Oh, there it was. Was that answer enough for you? It appears to be coming from further inside. Yufa? Alright, let's get the show on the road. The sooner we find this thing, the sooner we make sure this never happens again. Let's get it. Oh, we're gonna be in here for a while. We can keep talking about Cold Steel 2 if chat desires. <laughs> By the way, I am gonna say this, um... About, um... Uh, what's her name? About Elisa. One lap. I'm gonna reiterate this. I just said I liked Elisa. I don't think she's perfect. She definitely has some problems. And I feel like I like her more in the second game than the first game. Despite my whole issue with her being like... Shoved at the player's face to date her. Or romance her. But again, that's not her fault. That's the game's fault for doing that. that ball appears to Another thing I want to talk about with Cold Steel 2. I said this in the review. And obviously that's not on YouTube yet. But, um... I said this in the review, but like... Cold Steel, like, doesn't have super deep characters. And, um, I do think... The way Falcom writes the games is just really well done, and I think it just makes it like... I can't really put my finger on it. It's just really just like... Amazing how Falcom... Somehow makes things compelling. Like, things that seem boring for any other RPG don't seem as boring for Cold Steel. It just works. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, Cold Steel 2 was great. Great fun. I do look forward to going back and playing the Sky games. And the Crossbow games, because like... I could see myself really getting deeper into the story because Cold Steel 2 happens concurrently with Crossbell. And they've mentioned Liberal on a few occasions, so I really look forward to going back and seeing what happens in those games. Also, people in my chat talking about um, Estelle and Joshua, who are the main characters of the Sky games. I can't wait to see more of them. Oh, there's Petrification in this game. That's not good. Get destroyed. Okay, Raging Bull, I'm gonna be playing as you every now and then. Hi, loser. How's it going? You shan't escape. There we go. But yeah, uh, watch my Cold Steel 2 playthrough if you want more opinions on Cold Steel. Got a lot of stuff. Hi guys, you shan't escape. Dude, I love it, you shan't escape. It's too good. What's up, I'm a doll. Waifu squad in your face. All the waifus are here, chat. We got every single waifu here. Because there's only one more character and obviously it's Renegade. Okay, so Val obviously Valkyrie Hammer works for everyone because, you know, it's a uh, gift. You can share gifts. I see a really long comment in chat. I'll read it in a minute. <laughs> I will definitely read it. Okay, I might as well do it now. When it comes to gameplay stuff, I'm also not very fond of Laura's kit as her ornament hinders her playstyle. She's meant to be physical DPS, but her primary element slots are water, which are focused around arts and support. People say she could work as a tank, but that contradicts the fact that herself makes... Her self buff makes her take more damage as it lowers her defense, which also goes against the tank. Should work. Well, I hate Elisa, even while I 
even I have to make her when it is built to make her properly for kit. Also, because she is a water, she can only use the most bare bones parts of those quartz because of the magic support focus. She would have benefited more. Uh, I agree. I never considered that when I reviewed the game, but I, I definitely agree. Having arts on Laura is, like, pointless. Laura should definitely be, like, all physical. I partially... I, I like, see what you're saying there. It never crossed my mind. Like, I, it never crossed my mind, but I, I can see it. I mean, it has crossed my mind that with Laura, you do not want any elemental orbments. Like, you don't want any attacking arts. Like, straight up, you just want stat-ups. At least that's how I play the game. I play the game, when I use Laura, I only put stat-ups on her. Or Domination, I'll put. And Taurus. If it's not on Reen, it goes on Laura, though. At the end of the game, I use Taurus and um, uh, Domination, because those are pretty late-game quartz. Yo, bird's gonna fly, though. Love it. Yo, we're level 34. We're piercing through these levels right now. I am a raging bull. What's the spinning move? That's the rock move. Oh, it's try Oh, my throat. Oh my goodness, chat. I just noticed because we're talking so much about Cold Steel 2. It's my worst enemy. Spiders. Dude, Raging Bull is tough. Obviously, she's tough, but still. Round and round, loser. Go down. Love it. Can I break this? Get destroyed. So many spiders. Why so many spiders? Corkscrew. Raging Bull, eliminate all these spiders. There's way too many of them. I have something. Are you a Venipede now? Using Stampede? Be destroyed. Okay, Raging Bull's growing on me. I definitely like playing as White Cat and Doll more, and Hawk. But I do like her more than Adol. I, I hate saying Adol is the worst one, like, my least favorite to play as, but it's just true. Adol is still fun, though. Raging Bull is growing on me. Even though she's the slow character, at least she can dodge roll. She's not super, super slow, just some of her attacks are slow. Break. Thank you. What's over here? down here nothing fire has a physical focus for example so it would be perfect yeah i wasn't really one i i went with the orbits that i thought were good i played on hard mode and the game wasn't like super super difficult except for a few bosses and i was fine i was never like deep into orbit setups i just went with whatever i thought was good like on laura i would find myself using like attack ups um, and, um, other stuff. Like, um, just stat-ups, basically. Like, having no arts. And when I get Taurus as a Master course, I would use that on her. Unless it was on Reen. I guess for Nightmare Mode, though, you probably have to pay a lot more attention to, uh, port setups and such. That's probably where the depth of the Orbman system is, uh, in inherited. I gotta go up here and then climb. Oh, you're alive? Crazy how I would thought you were dead. Thought you was dead. Alright. There we go. Spiders, leave me alone. Goodbye. Ooh, treasure. A yellow shawl. Okay. Dude, I love- I can't get over how great Doll saying you shan't escape is. Look at all these- oh, uh, game. 
That was weird. Right, I do like Valkyrie Hammer. Being able to break these pillars is pretty neat. Oh, Sturdy Griamore. I wonder who that's for. Probably Raging Bull. What move will that give me? Grand Slam? I don't like Bellows. Take Bellow. Oh, it's nice. I like that. Pretty simplistic, but it's good. It annoys me when people think that say that slots don't matter in the layer games, but the only difference in the layer games is that it's way easier to obtain or use arts. You don't want to waste your slots. Emma and Lisa, for example, are good for their play styles. Lisa's art efficiency is and Lisa's arts efficiency, Emma's art strength. Space and Mirage are perfect for arts. They have stuff that boost arts damage, cut passing cost, boost overall EP aside from one super rare quartz in space, and nearly all the best quartz. Yeah. I, again, I haven't played the later one, so I'll just, uh, I get what you're saying, though. I just can't really comment on it if I haven't played Cold Steel 3 and 4. I have detected something. Oh, look at this. It's a giant statue. Of nothingness. What a lovely sight. Okay. Take all that. Take all that. Dude, I like this cave. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish this cave, chat. We might- we might get to like- maybe we'll get to the first boss, but then we might not be able to beat the second boss today, because uh, we're almost at four hours. It's my time to wrap up and go get something to eat. But hey, we got through most of chapter 5. If this is going the same, if the chapters all go in like a formulaic structure, we should be able to finish chapter, this should be the end of chapter 5, theoretically. It's usually, you go to the dandelion, get the side quest, do the Grimwald Noxes and get all the petals you want. Then, after the side quest, you would meet the Monstrum and then do a dungeon or two. So this could be the very end, it could not be, I'm not sure. Either way, I don't know how many chapters are in the game, we're making great progress though. Oh, hey, story destination. That's probably the boss. Theoretically, most likely. Wish you could play Gold Steel. Oh, do you not have like a PS4, PS3, or PC? If not, what's stopping you? I would highly recommend Cold Steel 1 and 2. I play both of them. They're great. Cold Steel 1's slow, but trust me, the payoff is worth it. Something the matter, Anemona? I'm particular. We have merely been walking for quite some time. That's true. We should still be inside the city, though. Wait. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, we're in Bald Duke. I keep forgetting we're in Bald Duke. I do like how all the areas are connected with Bald Duke. However, this is kind of a double edged sword. This is kind of a double edged sword to how the game is. I like how Bald Duke is like this big prison city and it has all these connections with these establishments and such. However, that comes at the cost of having like very lack of dunk lack of like variety in the area design. Like it's good that it's like that. I do like it to an extent, but it also means I kind of hate how there's not much variety in the game. Well, considering the direction we've been heading, I say we're somewhere around the cliffs near the prison by now. Wouldn't it be surprising given how long we've been walking? I see. That makes sense. Wait. Then what was that roar we heard coming from inside the prison? We'll have to find out. Oh, I should have said the plot think it thickens. That was that's such a fourth wall break. Hope you're ready to see the sucker up close. I know I am. Prison, huh? Okay, that wasn't the boss. Of course it's not the boss. There would have to be um There would have to be a um recovery point. Ever since they about Krisha's house, what did they say? Something about Krisha's house. 